All right, so this was, my next step here is to make smaller versions of these. So we're going to have to adjust the UVs a little bit for it. So I want to Command D, which is duplicate, or Control D to duplicate if you're on a PC, and then assign this one the next. So now I got his arm, and do that one more time. And assign material to selection, and there we got the gun. Very cool. And if you look at this in the side view, you should be able to see all three. If you don't, uh, that means you have your scene way too big, I guess. So we're going to have to shrink that down. Just for the simplistic matter, we need to have these. So they all show up. And I could set the, the depth on the camera if I wanted to, but really unneeded. I probably just went over, a little overboard with the character scale. Okay, fine. I'm going to have to adjust it. Oh, there we go. Good. Now if I pull this just a little bit this way, it'll get rid of the grid. There we have our character. <laughs> and you couldn't tell if he was a 3D character or a 2D character, judging upon all the work we've done. But now, uh, the thing is, we can't have these big, huge polygons out there just for an arm, right? So. Let's kind of put the gun to the side and work on the arm. The arm is technically only about this big, so I want to I want to get that, and then in the side view we'll move it, and then we're going to take and move its UVs. If you go into UV texture editor under window. If you take these UVs, uh, switch to UV by right clicking, go to UV, and then take this and scale it up by scaling this down. I think it was a little bit bigger than that, so. So it's, it's a fine line balance between the scale of the actual arm and the scale of the UVs. So I think the arm was about that big right there. Okay, now the other arm. And here it shows me, if I left it alone, this shows me the actual scale of that bolt. So that's saying the arm needs to be just a little bit bigger in its design. Okay, let's grab the other arm in a different view. So now I have that bolt as a point of reference to find out how big this is going to be. It's probably pretty good right there. Okay, let's grab the arm, we'll shrink this down. Now we have a point of reference for the arm. And grab the UVs over here and upscale the UVs. Remember, it's just about scale, it's not about placing. So don't try to place um, the gun into position using the UVs. You want to place it using the actual polygon plane. a little bit bigger
and you can you scale at this point also there's a lot of ways to do this i'm not going to say hey don't do this or don't do that there are so many different ways to do this you can, you can use uvs you can use anything just make it happen All right, so there we go. And it's got depth, believe it or not, because if it didn't have depth, let's say I throw something at the character, well, it's gonna go behind the gun, okay, because the gun is here in Z space, and then the shoulder's in another space. So think about how much depth that character has. Now, when he does lerp, or if he does lerp at all, I don't know if I wanna code lerping into it, but you could using the bone, but uh, have some depth in there. It, lo it looks really nice that way. Okay. And that's how you align your UVs. So once you get all that done, let's make it so this character is in the exact center of the screen. So I want the character's pivot point in the center of the screen and his pivot point's going to be based on his center of weight, which is about right there. There's his center of weight. All right, on to the next video where we put some bones in the character.